Uh, there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, four wines from Terrace du Larzac uh, in the Longer Dock here. Uh, is there a Palacio for white wines or rosé from this region? I'm not sure, uh, but it's famous for its reds. Uh, let's see if these four wines show why. Uh, three of them are from uh, Domaine Le Clos du Cerf, and the last one, uh, I don't know whether it should be the last one or the first one, it's, um, uh, it's from a uh, company called um, Maillard et Fillon. Uh, and I think they're, they're almost like a negotiant style of business. Uh, they're on 2013 vintage. Um, well, let's see whether I've got them in the right order. Uh, I've been on their, this company's website, and I think I've got them in order, going from uh, lightest to uh, to fullest, but uh, I'm very happy to be proved wrong. Anyway, uh, let's just uh, dig in and uh, do this first one. So it's Domaine Le Clos du Cerf, uh, Le Clos Récolte 2013, uh, and this one is based on... Um, Yes, I mean, there's, there's, there'll be uh, Syrah, uh, Grenache and Sanso in there, but uh, the main grape here is one called Ayad, uh, which you don't find in too many parts of, uh, uh, parts of the world. It, it's, um, I think it's exclusive to southern France, sometimes misidentified as Sanso or referred to as Sanso, uh, but um, uh, it, uh, known for light, refreshing wines. Let's see whether this is one of them. First thing I smell is what I call meaty pippy berries. Um, the meatiness, I think there's something uh, slightly funky and sulfury going on there in a rather pleasant way. Uh, the meat gives it a slightly wild, earthy character. Uh, but then there's also this slightly cooked bit of cranberry in there. Um, some, yeah, blackcurrant, uh, but stewed blackcurrant rather than, rather than fresh blackcurrant. Uh, and yeah, it feels like it's going to be a little bit on the wild side, but have this fresh edge. 14% alcohol, uh, but it, um, it, it it comes across as not a uh, really whack you around the head style of uh, ar well, aroma at least. I'd better taste it. You know, on those juicy, refreshing styles. Um, how do you go? And I don't know whether it's the Oyard or the Sanso. Um, I, in Sanso, certainly, I, I often get this um, what I call an earthy, sandy character. If you've ever dropped a sandwich on the beach and picked it up and had a mouthful uh, and bitten into it. You get the grittiness of sand, unless it's a pebbly beach, of course. Um, but you also get a little bit of the flavour of sand. And um, I do get that. I mean, I'm into doing quite a lot of sand, so red and rosé. Um, but there's this, the, the, the herbs in there, uh, this slightly stewed plummy fruit with this wild edge. And um, I do like that. I'm going to have another sip. Next one um, is a Limaros. Uh, now, if I keep looking over here, it's because I've got all written on them. Actually, I've probably, I've probably got all the details on the back. Four best land parcels, uh, a touch of Carignan and Sanso, uh, but the main thing here is uh, Old Vine Grenache. Um, so, um, again, 2013 vintage Les Maros. Some more of that wild, meaty, slightly sulfury. Uh, it's it's, it's a, a product of reduction, and I think that as, as these wines warm up and, and uh, get a chance to aerate in the glass, uh, a, lot of that, a lot of that will blow off. Again, this, um, uh, it feels like this is going to be a fuller, uh, deeper, throatier, more base note type of wine uh, with a little bit of plum jam in there, uh, fresh plum as well, um, and this juicy, fleshy black currant. Yes, um, step up in richness. Um, and I would say we're a better wine, but it's certainly a wine for a different occasion. Maybe the um, first one is more of a summer red. Um, this one... It's got more of those brave base notes. Uh, and if the first one's a wine for uh, cold roast beef and things like that, this one, you think, oh, where's my cassoulet? Uh, I like something like that there. I've got this earthy heartiness, uh, but the fruit has never gone jammy or anything like that. Uh, there is this, war you, you can feel the warmth of the place, but it's not like warmth that's gone into either overripeness or the fruit's got shriveled or anything. It's really nicely balanced. Um, it feels good now, but it feels like as it uncurls, it's going to get even better over the next two or three years. Yum. Um, third one, a La Blaca. Um, and uh, what, what's this one? Is this the one that's based on mostly Carignan? No. Spirit of Adventure. Um, a, Syrah grape, a tribute to the Syrah grapes. It's got four, uh, four parcels of, uh, particularly good for Syrah here, with a little Grenache for a touch of spice and some Carignan for freshness. Let's see whether it lives up to that billing. More of that meaty wildness. Again, it feels like the, the, these feel like wines that um, uh, I don't know how long they've been bottled. It's 2013. They've probably been in, in, in those bottles quite a while, but they've been bottled and they've, they're clenched like that, and they they need, really need to do some uh, unfurling. It doesn't feel like that that um, 
the, the sulfur bit I was talking about earlier on has gone so far that it's sucked in itself and it's not going to dissipate. But at the moment, if you're having them, I'd slosh them around the jug and uh, uh, yeah, give them an hour or so to come out of their shell. But it's, it feels like here there is a uh, maybe a, a, a not as uh, deep. Um, a wine as the previous one in terms of those earthy base notes but it feels like there's going to be some more interesting spicy characters you get that edge of chocolate really dark chocolate and um, a bit of violet um, and sometimes when I get syrup um, from places like this I get this herby orange peel character there's a little bit of that going on and then this dry finish um, and uh, so if maybe we, we are going to cold roast beef um, and then what did I say stews this is more you know, yeah get out your nice piece of ribeye and um, sorry for vegetarians who are watching this oh I like I like I like all of these so far um, so this one uh, yes I just had a look on the front of these uh, other ones that Claude said it says um, uh, Beatrice et Sebastien Fillon vigneron so this must be their um, negotiation business let's see whether I should have done this first or I was right to keep it till last. Well, this feels wild and savoury too. Um, not as meaty as the previous three have done. Um, so it may have been that they were, uh, I don't know, they may have got, I don't know whether they were buying fruit or uh, ready-made wine and doing the élevage, the ageing themselves. Uh, but it feels, it feels like a um, slightly safer wine. I don't know. It, it smells good. It smells, and it's got that uh, warm, real sense of the soil. Uh, and the uh, density of the fruit, but it's definitely fruit related to a place rather than fruit that's been grown in a FR00T factory. Yes, I should probably have slipped that in about uh, number two in the lineup. Uh, it's fuller bodied, um, oh, well, deeper flavoured than the first one. I don't think it's as good a wine as the first one, um, but um, there's a juiciness there. Uh, but it, it, after the after the, the previous three, which really did feel you, it, like the, the, the flavours have been dragged up from from the earth, here it's good, and I like it's got a little bit of that ginger biscuit character that I was getting uh, uh, on the previous one. I didn't mention ginger biscuit. I'm getting ginger biscuit character. Um, blah blah blah. Um, clay limestone pebbles around Jonquier. Um, it doesn't say what it's made from, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, there's quite a bit of Syrah and Grenache in there. But you could probably say the same about virtually every wine from that part of the world. Uh, but it's a nice quartet, and um, uh, my only problem is I want roast lamb, uh, the cold. Uh, I want uh, cold roast beef with the first one. I want um, yeah, maybe lamb shank with the, the second. Uh, I want my ribeye with the third, and uh, with the fourth. Ooh, a but nice hamburger. But I can, there's only one of me, and I can only eat a certain amount and drink a certain amount. Anyway, I like the wines. See you soon.